What is up everybody? It's our first bluebird day since the storms have arrived in the past week. It's February 6, 2019, and we're gonna do a Big Bear Valley tour. We're gonna go from Baldwin to Fonskin so you guys can see <coughs> how pretty it looks. And straight ahead, first time those hills have been covered with snow this season, which is great. The town got a walloping, not too bad, but it's best walloping uh, this season and last season. Last season we didn't get any storms this big. So yeah, so we're gonna drive down this way through Baldwin and then back around to Fonskin. Wow, just look at all this. It's 20 degrees. It's 11.36 a.m., 20 degrees. It's really cold outside. One of the, the, the coldest days we've had in a long, long, long time in terms of like where our high temperature is gonna get because it's not gonna get really any higher than this. Man, this is so incredibly beautiful, you guys. Seriously guys, it's just so, so, so gorgeous. It's hard to keep the phone just on this holder, holster right now because uh, I want you guys to see everything, just how beautiful everything looks. Snow tubing, very cool. <coughs> and yeah, up top there, man, they got a lot of snow up top there. See, it? Man, it's so pretty up there. So pretty up there. I sure hope no one calls in the next 40 minutes and interrupts this this tape or this tape this recording. <laughs> and then last night, thanks again to Lawrence and Griselda Woody. I appreciate you guys big time. Got that $25 check. I really appreciate it. And sometime today on one of the later drives, because there's not gonna be too many more drives now because it's, it's not necessary um, until the next storms. But we're going to do one more later on, and I'll, I'll go down La Placida again during the day. If I don't get that done today, we'll do it tomorrow. Then after tomorrow's video, I don't know when the next one's going to be. Maybe Saturday when we have some storms coming, maybe. We shall see, mate. Dead man's curve. <sighs> so, like usual, it'll probably be a lot less snow. Well, it, it certainly is. As we go further this way, you can see there's just less snow. <coughs> and the further we get into Baldwin, it'll be less and less and less. Now look at the top of the hills right there, man. Look at how white that is. They just got capped up there. Wow. They got a lot of snow up there at the very top. Wow, 
wow, that chopper is just taking off like a champ. I hope you guys saw that. AM, 21 degrees. Now walking outside earlier, I was like, oh, Jesus, it's cold. It got down to four degrees overnight. I got up in the middle of, of the night like usual to use my uh, John, and then uh, I looked at the temperature because it was, it was supposed to get down to like 13 or 14 this last night, so I just wanted to see if it was that cold, and it had really, really plummeted past that. <coughs> so I was hoping we'd get down to zero or below zero, but not quite. We've had, I've seen below zero once since I've lived here, and it was in Baldwin. It was two, two below zero is what my Mercedes temperature gauge read. Two below. Traffic's moving all right. <coughs> place to go sledding, if you guys can find a place to park. <coughs> there's gonna be a lot of places to sled. I'm gonna show you one of my favorite places to go sledding when there's an okay amount of snow like this. Coming up to it pretty shortly here at Baldwin. So we're entering the Baldwin area. Yeah, they barely got anything over here in terms of snow. See that, guys? Look at that. Like maybe an inch or two at the most. That's just sad, man. And then straight ahead, there's no snow. Oh my gosh, look, dude, parts of Baldwin really didn't get any snow. And we're, and we're gonna see that in just a moment. That's incredible. See, guys, how that works? Even if we get pounded just right over here, a mile away, this will still happen over here. And the further we go this way, you'll see it's really, 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 really getting less and less. And the hills straight ahead have nothing on them. I mean, a little tiny dusting, but like, like nothing. You can see brown, it's all brown. Just, just incredible. <coughs> <coughs> just 
just incredible. And I bet there'll be people sledding in this little spot I like. It's gonna be up here on the right. I'll show you. Not exactly right here. But speaking of right here, I just gotta do something real quick. So we're gonna pull in right here and I'm just gonna go to the side of the car for a moment and check something. Yeah. So yeah, so this is definitely, uh, has to be one of the coldest daytime highs that I've lived here for. This is awesome. <coughs> Must be global warming. All right. All right, let's see here. All right. So, look at how, okay, so the place where I like to sled, it's coming up here on the right. Just pull your car into this little area. Hold on. Did I just pass it? I don't think I passed it. I think it's just coming right up here. Hold on, let's look at, at, at Baldwin, how they got like hardly anything. Look at that. Okay, here it is right here. So you just, you can just pull in right here, park right there, or pull over to the side here and just find a place to sled down this hill to the right. Right here, oh, here's the spot. I'm an idiot, here's the spot right here. So look it, it's wide open right here. You just pull onto this thing and park and then go sledding right here. Look, there's no one sledding right here. Look at, look at guys, look at that sledding hill right there. That's awesome, look at how much fun this, and you have all this space so you're not gonna run into the street and your parents can stand right here just in case and they can watch you just to make sure you don't fall right into the street. <coughs> and anyway, so there's Baldwin hardly any snow just amazing just incredible Just amazing. So look, yeah, there's like hardly any snow over here, guys. <laughs> look at that. Isn't that, a, isn't that, that's amazing. That's amazing how we are in such a crazy area for just this type of freaking weather where just a mile and a half away, you'll get six inches of snow almost. And then over here, you'll have one inch. If that, this isn't even an inch of snow, you guys. This is just a dusting. If that, look at this. What did I tell you guys? It's the snow rule. It's the Big Bear Valley snow rule. Every time, you guys. Look, there's nothing. And then those hills right there, nothing on them. Look at that. <laughs> it's just amazing. <coughs> right on the other side of those hills is Highway 18 going down. But yeah, so we got to keep our eye on this view right here because this is just inc incredible. Incredible. Out that way is Big Bear Lake, Big Bear City, Fawn Skin. We're headed that way but you're definitely gonna see a significant uh, difference in the snow from here to the Big Bear Dam. The Big Bear Dam is where I say the town typically gets the most amount of snow on Boulder Bay, which is right next to the Big Bear Dam. You'll see, you'll see. And it's good because there's been no chance for any of this new snow to melt. So that's fantabulous. It's been so cold, there's no chance. <laughs> now, they could suffer from a little thermal heating from having the sun beating straight down on them. Geez, look at how much snow some of those hills out there got. 
Wow. Yep. It's such a beautiful place. Anyway. Knock on wood. We haven't had any calls yet. It's been 15 minutes and 30 seconds since we've been driving. We probably got another 30 minutes to drive, depending on what traffic's gonna be like up here on the main road. So yeah, guys, just really no snow over here. I, I mean, just nothing. Truly amazing to me. So for the people, okay, look, Baldwin is such a great spot. I love Baldwin. I would actually love to live out here because it's so quiet and away from everything out there. However, oh man, that is such a beautiful picture. Oh my God. However, out here in Baldwin, uh, this is the issue for me is that it doesn't snow much. It gets damn cold, but it doesn't snow much. And I moved up here for the snow to be in SoCal and have some snow. Look at that prefab home up at the top of the hill there. That's really cool. That's really, 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 really cool. Oh my gosh, you guys. Just incredible. There's Snow Summit and Bear Mountain. Bear Mountain is the one to the right. If you guys can even tell. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. There's no cars anywhere near me. So to the right is Bear. And that's, or no, that's Bear to the left, sorry those ski runs and that's no summit over there to the right just incredible incredibly beautiful but yeah the big bear snow rule guys so baldwin basically if you're trying to stay over here and rent like an airbnb but you're up here for the snow i wouldn't suggest staying over in uh in baldwin if you're here for the snow like if you want to wake up to a foot of snow like we sometimes do or wake up to a few inches of snow this isn't isn't where you want to be now when this area gets like six inches of snow the other side of town has almost a couple feet it's pretty incredible look at some of my older videos from 2016 and 2017 you'll see january both both those years produced like three plus feet of snow and then yeah guys look at this just nothing just nothing and all the snow you're seeing right here on on the side that's from the snow plow and then if you look just a few feet beyond that, there's just really nothing. It's just really incredible, you guys. I don't know how to stress it. It's really incredible. Okay. Right, we're going to Lucerne, right down the hill. They got some snow last night, so did Victorville, so did a lot of you. I'm really, really happy for you guys down there, man. I'm really happy for you guys. Usually when you guys get snow down, down there, we get a lot more than this, but that's okay. So yeah, this is gorgeous. The fact that these hills right here have a lot of snow on them, which they never usually do. That's really awesome. Usually these are completely barren after storms. Yeah, that's just, that's just, uh, yeah, it's so beautiful, you guys. Just ridiculously gorgeous. <coughs> Damn it. I like to cut off this part of the lane right here. I, I don't know why, I just always do. But anyway. This is cool, the guy in front of me is hauling ass, so that's good. That's kind of what I need help with this video is to not be stuck in any traffic, so it's not gonna be a overwhelmingly long video so you guys don't get bored with it, but it'll be good because it'll show the whole town, basically, so you'll be able to, you know, uh, fast forward and whatnot. 
But yeah, look at those thick clouds right over there. Those are not coming our way. Those are, are, are moving south, but that's just awesome. And here's Baldwin, Baldwin Lake. It'd be so nice to have this thing filled up with water. How much more in, in, incredible would Bear Valley be if this was full of water? It would just be magnificent. Just spectacular. Yeah, I really, really love it. That guy in the truck in front of us, man, he's flying, dude. He's going, well, I'm, I'm going 55. And he must be going faster than that. That's just, I mean, I'm driving probably way too fast for these conditions, but... <coughs> wow guys this is so incredibly beautiful and just keep your eye out on the further we go the deeper the snow is going to get the further we go this way until the, the big bear dam and that's going to be the most snow in town uh oh slow down roads are frozen buddy Just an incredible day to be skiing and snowboarding, you guys. Incredible. Because a lot of the last of the snow was a champagne powder type of a snow because it was super cold and super dry. So we got some champagne, pow champagne powder towards the end like the Colorado Rockies get, which is beautiful. Because walking around in it, it was just flying up like dust. It was so awesome. Oh, yeah just everything about this place you guys it's so beautiful so beautiful Seriously, that truck, man, what a champ. There he is right from us there. I'm really impressed. The guy probably runs a weather channel called Baldwin Weather and More. <laughs> Just kidding. <coughs> let all of these scenic sights go. I just really can't. And we're at 23 minutes and 53 seconds into the video. Probably got another double that and then we'll be home. But we are making good time. We're driving normal speed limit, not having to deal with any traffic, but I need to, but I'm knocking on wood right now as we speak, which is my head. The head on my neck, you sick bastards. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Don't pull in front. No, 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 no. Okay, I thought you were pulling in front of me. I was gonna absolutely, absolutely ruin your day. Thank you, sir. Because yeah, I can't be stuck behind slow pokes. And we've been so fortunate so far that we got this truck in front of us, but now in front of him, there's a bunch of slow pokes. But hopefully it's not gonna affect us too much because most of these people are gonna turn left before they enter Fonskin, so that's good. Hopefully they, they do that. So you can see the piles of snow getting higher. You're not seeing any dry patches on the side of the road anymore. No brown patches. Well, there was one right there. But that's right under the tree where the, 
tree branches and leaves were blocking the snow from falling right at the very, 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 very bottom. But it's not like they got a whole bunch of snow out, out here, maybe three inches or so. But some parts of town where we're headed got about a foot. Unbelievably pretty. Bear Mountain to the left, Snow Summit to the right. But when we get our big snows, like every tree, everything just looks like a white monster. There's no green, just everything's just completely full white, just thick. What is this? Tree work ahead, huh? Grain. Windshield and it freezes on contact. It's not cool. I gotta turn on the fan really, really high to keep it from, uh, from freezing on the windshield so we can see the video. The side windows are gorgeous, man. They are just perfectly clean, clear. And then when we get home, we're gonna upload the uh, time lapse also. I'm gonna let it go another couple hours. And then I'm going to upload it. Barney turns. Nope, it looks like he's going straight. That's unfortunate. Oh no, he's turned left. Good. Without a signal. Good for him. Alright, so... Give me a second, we're gonna pull over for a second. I gotta do something. Cause that guy dirty the windshield and I'm not too happy. There's nothing I can do, really, except just this real quick. So, we are pulling over. Real quick. Oh, look at those big, beautiful dogs. Hang on. Actually, it got all the dirt off the... Oh my God, look at the lake. Look at the lake. Oh my God, the lake looks insane. You guys see how like blue the water looks today for some reason? Or maybe that's just me, but holy moly, that looks... Oops, watch the road. That looks amazing. We just don't have time to really walk, walk down to the lake, you guys, I'm sorry. I wish we could. But we'll get a lot of beautiful lake views on this drive, I assure you. Especially once we get to the Fonskin area and on the other side. There's going to be so much snow on the lake. It's going to be so beautiful.
It's unfortunate. I should have ta I should have taken my car down like I was supposed to today to Subaru. I had an appointment for my oil change, my rotation, and a few other things for the first service. And uh, my alarm woke me up, and I just wasn't I just wasn't feeling it. So I, I went back to bed, and now I'm, I'm regretting it. I just wish I I just would have just handled it, just, just got it over with. But yeah, so. So yeah guys, further this way we go, the more snow you'll see, as it's pretty obvious right now. Just a lot more snow than uh, Baldwin, and it's going to get more and more too. So we're at 31 minutes. Hopefully we can be done with this by about 45 minutes total. But as I said, I don't want to bore you guys too much. Wow. It's so pretty over here. Welcome to Fonskin. Man, I mean that that park right there looks so pretty too. Just everything on this side looks so gorgeous. Just deep and lush with snow. It's so beautiful. Not deep like Mammoth Deep, but for our area, this is pretty good snow. All right, so now we're officially entering the town. All right, so welcome to Fonskin, you guys. Southern California is probably the most adorable little snowy town. Oh, here's some incredible lake views right there. Man, man. Wow, look at that you guys. Just amazingly beautiful. Wow, and some of those trees over in, in parts of Fonskin over here just look absolutely amazing. Another incredible view. Look at all those, you guys. Wow. This is incredible. Incredibly beautiful. I'm really 
open, we're not going to hit any traffic coming into town. But I wouldn't be surprised if we do, because I know a lot of people would want to come up today, but um, probably wouldn't be the safest drive, you guys, because as I said, it's it's right around 20 degrees, and uh, driving up in those kind of conditions is just not going to be fun. I know I don't slide all over the place and whatnot, but don't 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 judge it by the way I drive. I've been doing this a long time now. I mean, you guys see how many hours of driving in this type of stuff I get. So we're good. That dumbass lady walking the street. All right. Okay, now we are in the town of Fonskin. Oh, look at some of those homes and all that stuff down there. All the snow over there. Just amazing. This is such a beautiful town with snow. Wow. And up there, I guarantee they got a ton of snow. Yeah. Good try, buddy. Look at these trees right there. Wow. Look at that little area. So guys, you can see there's just a ton more snow over here. Just a ton. Wow. Oh my gosh, everywhere I look, it's just non-stop beauty. I can't keep the camera straight because I just don't know which way I want to look here. Just look at this, guys. Wow, man. Wow. There's so much snow over here. It's like mixing in with the clouds in the background. It's so incredibly beautiful. Yeah, they they definitely got close to a, close to a foot right over here. Oh man, just spectacular, guys. Spectacular. I shut off for about a minute. No traffic behind me, but I'm going really slow so I don't waste too much time. reason why I had to roll down the window was because as I said my phone was was overheating so it, it, it had shut down and uh, I had to cool it off quickly so we wouldn't miss any really good views you know so I had to stick it out the window and it uh, cooled off yeah pretty quick <laughs> but yeah guys just so beautiful Let me see if I can turn the, yeah see I can turn this this way I didn't realize that I'll turn this like that Oh wait, no. <laughs> Alright, cool. Hopefully that's uh giving you guys a decent lake shot. Either way. I'll straighten it back out because I can just hold it up again. I haven't rolled out my window again because it didn't have any issues.
definitely got a foot of snow over here. Definitely got a foot of snow over here. You can tell on everything that the snow's sitting on, on like benches and uh, rock formations and stuff, it's like a, a foot at least. That's where the most snow in town fell, right over here. That's the bay, right there. The bay, the lake. That's where the most snow in town fell, right here. Holy crap, my hand is freezing now. Woo! But yeah, they got dumped on over here. Hell yeah, guys. This is so incredibly gorgeous. I am so, so stoked. I'm not stoked that the camera died, or the phone died. Oh, here's a Porky. Gotta put the phone back on there. Hello, oh, Mr. Porky, how you doing? Let's get loose right in front of him. Just kidding. No, I wasn't. All right. Uh, one time I got pulled over over here when we had the three and a half feet of snow in, in, in 2016 for passing someone. And then I told him, I was like, oh, sorry. And he let me go. <laughs> Guys, look at Snow Valley. That Snow Valley ski resort way out there. Look at that. Just beautiful, just beautiful. Make a right to go to the little Arctic Circle. Make a left, you're going into town. They have chain controls over on the little Arctic Circle I just saw, so you guys need, uh, it's R R2 conditions. Look at how high these piles of snow are. Look, I'm, I'm just gonna pull over, there's no one behind me. Look at this, look at this. Out my freaking door, look at that. It's as high as the freaking door, or as high as the freaking window. But yeah, this part of town right here gets the most snow of anywhere in town. Right here. And for the next about uh, four or five hundred yards down. And then that's when the storms start to dissipate more past that. But just look at this, guys. This is magical. Like, look. Look at this huge, huge, huge pile. If I go straight, it's higher than the damn car. And the roads are just gnarly because they got so much snow over here. I mean, what a difference, huh, from here to, to Baldwin Lake. Baldwin has nothing and they got a foot over here. Just incredible. And the roads are gnars, as I told you. So, anyway. This is just magical. Oh, so lucky to live here. So lucky to live here. And thank you guys for cruising with me today. I appreciate it. It'd be so nice to do a live feed, but my, my car doesn't get any service all over town, so it's unfortunate. Oh my God, look at that. Guys, come on now, look at this. Really, is this really? Oh my gosh, just absolutely gorgeous. Whew. The snow on the road still fairly deep over here, but there's only so much the plows can do when it was coming down like it was. Yeah, guys, just amazing. So this is your way into town on Highway 18, okay, from the front side. I don't want you guys yeah. being nervous. Just be confident and take extra time. Don't try to get up here too fast. Oh, wow. Just look at the amount of snow. I'm 
seriously mesmerized right now. This is lost in the beauty. It really is beautiful, you guys. I woke up depressed as hell today, and I'm feeling good right now. catch up to some people. Oh, I knew it was going to be too good to be true to get around most of the town without following any jerk-offs. I don't mean jerk-offs. Like, like uh, it's probably a local, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I'm not talking smack on people down the hill or, or up here. It's just in, in general. <laughs> in general. <coughs> and, uh, yeah. Just playing around, just honking at them to say hello. Hey, Dylan. Twelve miles an hour seems seems to work, huh? And this moron, look at him, dude. What are you doing, barnyard? That was a good, good move, buddy. Good, 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 good move, buddy. Yeah, you. Good move, buddy. Or you know what? Oh, never mind. Okay. I'm glad my window wasn't breaking when I roll it down. Because my Mercedes, the windows all exploded on the, uh, the insides when I... But then again, I rolled it down when it was in the single digits. Probably not small. Boulder Bay! You guys want to see the most beautiful city in the world with snow? It's our sister city called Abtenu, Austria. I'm a lot Austrian. Maybe it's just in my blood to love the snow. So check out Abtenu, Austria, you guys. You guys will shiznit. It's so, so beautiful. doing up here I should have turned oh man I should have freaking turned bro okay, I have to shut this down so you guys don't have to wait in this traffic hang on all right so we made the u-turn and we're just gonna go through Boulder Bay because I don't want to deal with these morons it's uh oh my gosh I think it's a, a chain checkpoint or something in the middle of town that's that that's what it looked like and usually it's it's not like that that's, that doesn't make sense that can't be what it is What's up, buddy? <laughs> How you doing? Just Check. cool, man. Sorry. Great to see you, dude. <laughs> bright and fucking she all yelling. No, oh. Get the fuck out of the house again. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that, dude. I'm sorry to hear that, man. You making a delivery out here? No, I'm actually doing my YouTube videos for my for my channel, just so people can see the aftermath of the storm. Yeah, I know it's pretty fucking. It's it, dude. It's so beautiful. Baldwin has no snow. Yeah, I know, and Irwin and stuff like that. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Really it's, got anything. But it's like that every time, though. Yeah. So. To the cousin back. Let's yeah. See. But yeah, dude. God bless you. I wish you the best, dude. Yeah, I'm, dude. I am so sorry, man. No, it's all good. She, I just. I think. I don't know. Usually, when she tells me to do that, she just wants me to leave because she needs to cool down or whatever. Okay. So I'm just gonna walk around Smoke City. All right, dude. <laughs> all right. I'll be thinking about you, okay? Yeah, dude. All right, Gage. Because I gotta make it to fucking H and R Block so if. Where are you going right now? Well, no, I'm I'm actually going um, back to to oh, 
took, sure. yeah, because I've been gone so long. I got two freaking delivery calls, so I got to get going. Yeah. But it, um, if I'm down here later, um, if you need a ride somewhere, I'll freaking hit you up, dude. All right. All right, Gage. I'm really sorry, dude. All right, it's all good. All right, brother. Well, it's good, dude. I fucking love you guys, man. Yeah. All right, dude. I'll see you later. Yeah, man. Take care. Sorry, guys. That's a bummer. Dude's chick is bitter with him. So yeah, here we go, taking the back road, which I learned about yesterday. I didn't know that I could do this yesterday. Can you guys believe that? Until yesterday, I, I didn't know. <laughs> we just totally avoided all of that right there. All that stopped traffic, because they had, everybody stopped right back there. Not us, guys, because Jeremy showed me the way, or actually the fact that the road was closed yesterday um, and they were detouring people right down this way. That's how I learned. I'm surprised working for Domino's when I first got here and doing my delivery service and my YouTube channel. I didn't know about this. Like, really? So anyway, look at that. Yeah, guys. Oh, no. We avoided it. We avoided it. Oh, come on, buddy. Oh, my gosh, dude. Just Barney Central. Maybe we didn't need to avoid it. Okay. Anyway, we're back on Big Bear Boulevard. And yes, just beautiful. behind more donkeys. So we're gonna, once we get up here, we're gonna go through the village and then head back home. Wow. You guys remember Cabbage Patch and Garbage Pail Kids and stuff like that? I remember those were like so cool back then, back in the day. Look at this Barney. Do something, guy. Thank you. Oh. Were you letting me, I don't know. It looked like they were letting me pass, so I'm gonna give them the, the old thank you very much. 
the reflector. Okay, so here's Snow or uh, Magic Mountain. You got people sledding, having fun. That's cool. Very cool. Not the Magic Mountain you all are thinking about in Valencia. That's my favorite Magic Mountain. I've been to Six Flags over Georgia. I've been to Six Flags in uh, in another state. Um, I think it was like Texas. Or I'm not sure, but I remember being in multiple Six Flags. I love roller coasters. Roller coasters are awesome. in front of us is going left so that's good uh, just all these untouched fresh beautiful snow rivers it looks like just so pretty over here man it really is but yeah the, that boulder bay and the big bear dam and that part of fawn skin over there just looked insane huh guys tons and tons and tons of snow compared to the other parts of town Wow, this guy is spinning his front wheels like crazy. So this is like the most popular hotel up here, the Holiday Inn. It used to be called Northwoods, I think, or it might still be called Northwoods, I'm not sure. But yeah, that is the most popular hotel here. I think you guys would have fun there. Anyway, the Lodge at Big Bear Lake, a Holiday Inn Resort, there it is. And the club's also really, really, really gorgeous. Good location right here downtown. Once again, Oakside, good, good, good restaurant. I like it a lot. Um, if you get their steak, make sure you get the the, the filet because you don't want to get the uh, their other steak, which is like 16 ounces. Still like 35, 40 bucks, but spend a, spend a little more get the smaller cut and get the filet because the big piece of steak I had there was just not tender. It was like, it was like rough. I was really freaking disappointed. And their sister company up here is Peppercorn Grill. Just so you guys know. rest of the village and then we are headed home. you guys and peppercorn is right here that's that is I, the best steak I've had up here yet at peppercorn grill it was really 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 good the only issue I had there that night was uh, since I don't drink alcohol you can imagine how a soda goes really good with a steak for me and funny enough they their soda machine broke that night so I couldn't have any soda I had to have water with my steak and it just was irritating I know that's like, uh, you know, there are worse problems in life to have. I certainly understand, but that really was irritating. So we're on Big Bear Boulevard, folks. And we are almost home. because I'm obviously the 
I mean, I'm not doing it intentionally, but I'm obviously the, the fastest one out here right now. So I just take up both lanes because it's not like there's anyone going to be coming up on me. And I'm constantly looking in my rear view mirror too, just to make sure I'm not being a selfish prick. Excuse my language. Uh, not uh, to make sure I'm not being a selfish Nick. So anyway, <coughs> temperature jumped up to 25 degrees. Let's see if uh, if it stays around there. 25, you guys can see. And 420 miles till empty, sweet. 420, baby. All right. back crossing summit boulevard right now if you make a right you go to snow summit let's actually take a look real quick see what it look it looking like it looking like oh wow it looking nice yeah unfortunately that's not part of this tour because we've been out here long enough and i got to use the restroom but i'll do a ski resort one for sure that actually is a great idea thank you guys since we got a uh, schmucko in front of us, we're gonna make it right here and uh, take the back road so we don't have to deal with the uh, El Schmucko. All right. So this is the brownie lot for Snow Summit right next to us. This is where they have you guys park often. And it looks like it's pretty full, let's see. Yep, it's pretty full. You guys are gonna have a crazy day skiing and snowboarding. Actually, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to actually get to the to the resorts because of all the people. And no, it's not full. I'm sorry. It's, it's not. Even, it's about three quarters full. So it's still a good day to go skiing and snowboarding, guys. Still a beautiful day for that. Anyway, I love you all. I'm gonna shut this down in just a second here. Peace out. Let's at least get the best western in because that place is so gorgeous especially with all all the snow it's such a such a pretty place all right peace out i just filled that off filming me <laughs> all right peace out guys february 6 2019